I actually slept really well. Then I woke up quite early, I don't know, six or seven o'clock, and of course the fire had gone out and it was cold in the pot. So I did make the move to the stove and I relit it. I was blowing and rubbing sticks and, you know, doing all that stuff. And uh, it ignited again, so that was it. And I snuggled back down and fell back to sleep again. And now, look at that, the view is just gorgeous. Really lovely. And I can't wait to get out there. It's time to really explore these mountains, challenge myself a bit and get as high as possible. Okay, we've got a bit of mountain activity today. We're gonna try and get to a summit. That summit, just there. You can hire all the equipment you could need here and organize various activities from hiking, climbing and skiing to dog sledging and paragliding. One of the other guests, Bram, is also keen to hit the mountains, so he's coming with me. Ah, the joys of communal living. So where are you from, Bram? I'm from Holland. OK. okay. To get to the start of the climb, we're taking a ski lift. It's actually not as hard as it looks. Famous last words from someone who hasn't actually been on this type of lift for six years. Oh, 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 oh. OK, there we go. There we go. Eric's looking concerned. She's not in a very nice situation now. You can go all the way down to the bottom and start again. Now, I look an arse, and I've been on my arse, but I'm going to give it another go. Loving it, loving it, loving it. OK, here we go. Thanks. And just when I think I've got the hang of it, my derriere is making friends with the ground again. The shame! Number two! It's just getting embarrassing now! But I'm what? not going to let the mountain get the better of me. It's I'm time for drastic measures. And machinery. <laughs> Please. This is my night in shiny Armani. Much better. Don't waste all that time on button lifts. So having completely destroyed my eco-credentials for the day, it's time to ditch the skis and skidoos and start walking. There is no left, no right side. It's Good. Okay. exactly the same. So. To do this ascent, you need specialist equipment. These are snowshoes. You can hire them for about £15. Okay. They're supposed to help walk so. on layers of snow. Bram and I and haven't tried them before, but they seem pretty the straightforward. Whether they make walking any easier, I don't know. At the moment, they just make me walk like a cowboy. <laughs> and I like the, the heel on the back. You see, we girls have a good time. <laughs> we have a good time wearing heels. We're heading to the top of Valoret. It's over 2,000 metres high with stunning views across the Alps. It's definitely harder work in deeper snow. Bram assures me that he is a keen winter sportsman. Come on, Bram, keep it up. I'm quite liking the snowshoes. Look at these little teeth they've got on the front. These little crampons. You just literally, you lean forward and they dig into the snow. It's lovely to come to an alpine resort where it's not all about skiing. Some ski resorts are really overdeveloped. You can't escape the people, the cabins, the nightlife. It seems easier to appreciate the natural environment here. You do feel like you're more in the wilderness. I mean, this is, you know, an hour and a half away from the pods, an hour and a half away from camp, and this is what proper outdoor stuff's all about. And it's time to see if that climb really is worth it. Not at the top, till you're at the very, very top. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Woohoo! On top of the world. Well, some view, 360 degrees of gorgeousness. Valorette, we got you! And the great thing about the White Pod experience is one moment you're on top of the world, and in under two hours you can be back down in the luxury lodge spa. Oh. This is just what the doctor ordered. After days climbing in those snowshoes, they really work your legs and especially your calves. Now, my favorite stretch of all. 